Hello, family. Good evening, family. How are you all doing tonight? All right, we're just easing on into that time where we relax, we get in the bed, say our prayers, and we go on to sleep. Yes, I'm coming to you at 11:24 p.m. A little late, but level. Uh, what do you call? Better late than never. They say. I was looking at the finishing of a Netflix movie me and my daughter and her fiance was uh, looking at it was a series it was called contaminant um, on Netflix check it out you might enjoy yourself and get some insight at the same time okay but we're gonna get quick fast and in a hurry in this story that Hollywood life brought out honey candy birds and Nene are the hot topics for the night they going at it in social media and Nene saying one thing uh trying to allude to another candy think she's talking about her and Thinking she got the power to stop someone else from getting a spinoff from the Real Housewives of Atlanta and getting another show of a couple of episodes where they're showcasing just one particular housewife. And it seems like Candy got another spinoff coming out for us to partake of and critique, of course. And Nene's kind of salty about it. And I'm like, okay. The only thing I remember Nene having was her wedding being showcased. And that pretty much was it. Really didn't have a lot of drama to it. Even though she says she got a lot of interesting things that happened in her family. I'm like, honey, unless you want to show us how your oldest son keep going out here fooling with these thoughtless women. And having all these grandchildren that you don't want to claim. I don't think we too much want to see you and Greg just flouting around the house or Brent showing his ass here and there, standing on a Jeep, you know, and all that kind of stuff. I don't think we really want to see that. <laughs> but, hey, if you want to give it to us, okay, good. Or you could talk about this alleged man you're fooling around with in Maryland. Okay, that's what they say. Some kind of government worker. Uh, that's what the streets are saying, Nene. Not me. I'm just repeating what the streets are saying. Trying to find some clarification. But they even got Ken on the other hand. She, she's not interested either. Unless we're going to be letting Todd get into the scenes. And he go and tell us how unhappy he is with you traveling around the world. And forgetting you got a family. And all of that. Or we can look at Mama Joyce and the two sisters. Go at it about how Todd just spending up all your money. But. You know, for you to be in a scene, I would be crying all the time. Anybody got no time for that either, but it is what it is. But getting to this story, we had Beth uh, Shilday, uh bringing out to us from her um, employer, which is Hollywood Life. And she gives herself a title as uh, of this article as Candy Burst Claps Back After Nene Leak Seemingly Calls Her Thirsty. Okay, thirsty for what? A man, money. Or fame and fortune. Tell me which one. Because she's shooting for all of them. And so are you too, Nene. But anyway. It says, Candy Burris is hitting back after Nene Leach claims one certain member of the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast is thirsty. And gets to have their own spinoff season after season. At, at, I guess after season at her expense. I'm like, what? Nene, really girl. Nene. Honey, what you did to Bravo? What did you do to Andy Cohen to not get no spinoff? That's what you need to try to say. Because I don't really think Candy has that potential type power either to dictate. Okay? Maybe you did something wrong, Nene. And that's why Bravo ain't trying to give you your own show. Like they did Kim Zosiac. But then we know, hey, that's another horse of a different color. Okay, but going back to the article, it says, There's going to be some serious drama. Going down on the Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion. Even if it will be taped with everyone at home due to the COVID-19 lockdown. Nene Leakes went on a tirade about why a certain cast member keeps getting their own spinoffs that follow Real Housewives of Atlanta while she can't get one of her own. I'm like, Nene, you just had one. Okay, but I understand you talking about Candy getting all these different little things or whatnot. What's she doing? You need to be asking, what is she doing to get these spinoffs? Okay, because she might be doing some small things for some change. You know what I'm saying? That casting couch, who knows how the doors get down when they're closed. Okay, but anyway, that was just my sidebar, not in the article. It says, um... 
Candy Burris isn't 100% sure who Nene is talking about directly, but thinks it could be her as she's had three spinoffs. The Candy Factor, the Candy Ski Trip. Hold on. to go and check on my mom because she was hollering. I guess she was having a nightmare. But um, forgive me for that. But we got to do what we got to do when we're kind of trying to check on our family members, right? But getting back to the article, it was saying Nene, I mean, uh, Candy Burst had three different spinoffs. She had the Candy Factory, she had the Candy Ski Trip, and the Candy Wedding. Okay, now I don't remember the Candy Factory. Okay. But I do remember the Ski Trip and the uh, Candy's Wedding. So that is three of Nene's going to count that one as well. Uh, Candy has now landed a fourth spinoff for Bravo in 2020 called Old Lady Gang, which centers around the soul food restaurant that Candy and husband Todd Tucker opened in 2016 in Castleberry Hill, Georgia. Meanwhile, Nene still doesn't have a spinoff and is bitter. Better, 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 baby. Okay. Candy shared video of Nene complaining about why she doesn't have her own show to her IG page on April 8th. Nene 52 said, I think my not having a show is due to certain people not wanting me to have a show. Why one person gets to do a show every season after our show is weird to me. It looks really shady for one person season after season after season and none of these other girls gets to do anything it feels like someone is afraid that they will be bigger than you are a threat basically which is so ridiculous and so thirsty of them it makes no sense to me now nene just looking out looking into the whole scenario picture see like you are kind of jealous okay instead of you getting mad at candy why don't you ask Andy Cohen and the rest of the Bravo executives, okay? Because like I said, I don't think Candy's stumping that large to be trying to say this, that, and third. Maybe because Candy don't get into it with Andy Cohen as much as you do. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just I'm just looking in because I think Andy did like you very well at one time. But, you know, you keep claiming this, that, and the third. And you keep fighting verbally with other people throughout the cast. I mean, you get into it with the cast members. You get into it with the cast members' friends. Shit. I mean, at one time, wasn't nobody even checking or even trying to take with you. So, could you be the elephant in the room stopping you from your own adventures and being compensated for a show that is just totally following you? I don't know, Nene. It's called check yourself. Do inventory on yourself before you try to go place it on somebody else's doorstep. Okay, not saying that I'm just trying to get Candy her ups. But I'm just saying, you know, she ain't been starting stuff like you have, Nene. And she ain't been trying to uh, get on everybody's nerves. I mean, she had a little fallout with Portia. But she learned to play nice. In the playground, as we say, or sort of speak. You haven't been playing nice in the uh, playground. So, huh, that's probably why you got blackballed. And then you brought this attorney in that we still have not seen what was the cause of you bringing that attorney in. Okay, that would have been a great storyline, but you never brought it really to fruition. But anyway, going back to the article. Oh, that was just my sidebar. It says, um... Candy43 wrote in the caption, this video won't be up long, but I wanted to address this. So Nene Lee said on her live with Tamar Braxton that I misunderstood what she said on her YouTube. Now I don't know about you all, but on this video, it sounded like a bunch of hating and blaming of a certain person they keep giving a show to as the reason her show ideas aren't happening. Am I tripping? Who is she talking about in this video then? Now see, uh, I ain't seen a video or anything. But I think I did see the video. We were talking about Nene on her bed talking rubbish, you know. Okay, I did see it. It didn't make, quite, it didn't make too much of a hell of a beans of senses or a hell of a bean of a sense to even try to 
reason with her logic or where she was going with it. But Candy, my thing is, if you're going to put something out there, hell, let that shit stay. You scared it might come back to bite you in the behind in some way. If you want to go out to somebody and you put it on your Instagram account or any of your other social media accounts, let that mess stay. You said it. You don't think somebody already done captured it and going to use it? Child, please. Okay. We're moving on from there. It says, Candy, continue. Uh, for your information, I do not have the power to stop anyone from doing anything on Bravo. I show support to every project that my castmates do, TV, business, or whatever they are doing. I always post for them, even if we don't get along. I don't understand the shade towards me. I stay in my lane, and I'm not blocking anyone. Well, I ain't going to say you ain't blocking anyone, because, honey, you sure shut down them escape twins. I'm not twins, but sisters. You remember the Scott sisters, honey, when they wanted to get escape back out there, but you no, you were fearing to be shown as a follower instead of a leader and being a backup singer versus being the one out front. Okay, Beyonce, you are not, or Aretha Franklin. Okay, I'm just saying, giving you all the new juice to deal with. Those who can hear, hear. Those who can see, see. Those who understand where I'm coming from, praise, praises to me. Okay, but anyway. Uh, yeah, that's what pretty much Cand is saying. Don't follow her. Okay. So, she says she, she's standing in her line. She ain't blocking nobody. So, we know that ain't true. Maybe it might be true in Nene's sense, but it ain't true on her other affairs or how she deal with other people. Okay. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, Anyway, Nene, we can discuss this at reunion, but since you talk about it on your live, I figured I'll help the people to get a little clarity on why I feel the way I feel feel okay and i'm thinking ken if you felt the way you felt you shouldn't be racial taking anything down on your social media platform you should stand in your shit you big enough to say it don't erase it like it never was said or never was spoken out i'm just saying girl but anyway fans responded to candace tate kit smith um 103 commented she feels like she was the anchor for the show and it's salty because she hasn't been for the past few seasons while miss I don't know what this is. Emerson wrote, I don't get the shade towards you either, Candy. Sadu Bob told Candy, jealousy and envy to be as powerful as you. That's why. User S8032 was blunt writing, this lady is deranged. She almost like Trump on a way. Everything is always someone else's fault. While Bankable83 added, haters never prosper. Some people are just intimidated by your success. And, you know, in hindsight, if you really look at one person always getting a spinoff, you got to think, are they on that casting couch? Everybody know what a casting couch is. If you don't know, look it up, okay? Knowledge is a good thing, okay? So, you know, I would have to question it, too. If I was on the show and I was beloved by some people or, or a lot of people and um, I wouldn't offer my spinoff show from the season that had previously aired. But then I got to ask, how was I acting towards people uh, that were producing the show that was, you know, uh, doing the concept of shows and how it gets on the air? And all of that. And it's supposed to be hosting me. You know what I'm saying? And all my surroundings are where I want to take people in my everyday life. That's another deal, Nene. Because, you know, you might be telling the, the producers, oh, I want to take this. I don't want to take that. You can't take that. See, they don't want to get in all that. And see, Candy knows to have sensational, ratchet, good TV, you got to pretty much give away your whole life and put the cameras in everybody's faces even your extended family members you get what i'm saying so nina you this hands out type person you want to be too much involved with what you can film what you can't film what you can't say what you can't say and they don't want that okay they want drama filled stuff and they don't want to be censored of what they can cover so maybe that is the ideal problem of why you're not getting a spinoff nini i'm just saying just trying to think a little reasoning and logic here but that's all i have family for this uh seemed like a little 
Twitter battle or Instagram battle or social media platform battles between any leaks and candy birds, who will win? Who will be the last woman standing? Okay, but all we do know, candy got a, a spinoff and Nene don't. <laughs> So this will be her fourth one compared to Nene's one time having one. And that was her wedding special or something to that degree. Okay, but y'all get down in them comments, uh, family. You tell me what say you on this particular issue. We're talking about this subject matter between Candy Burris and Nene Lee's. I'm like, girl, Nene, you too old for this mess. You are just too old. Be thankful for what they give you because you definitely living way above your means. And if you're not doing anything on Broadway, how would you keep what you got so i think all of y'all should be grateful if y'all want to be a part of this entertainment ratchery type of platform to make your money you know what i'm saying because it don't take no education you just get on there and act the the worst despicable type of person you can bring to the television and give us a lot of drama you'll make a whole hell of a lot of money okay but anyway Neither one of y'all are coming to y'all senses. Y'all like this fame, fortune, this quick get scheme uh, together money. And they wonder why we get on y'all, the followers of you all's uh, entourage or people that really love you all. They get on us when we telling them the truth about these people and what they're doing on you know the tv programming we watch i mean we can give you a little bit a little bit of you to be ratchet but not all of it and then you just bone dry just be but ugly about it huh <sighs> then people like me have to come in and put my two cents in okay since it's broadcasting in front of me i'm silly what do you call it silly taking a part of this mindless drama but i will speak on it when i don't think you're acting the way you're supposed to be i mean you can't act a damn fool the whole season and every episode and then you're gonna come out acting like a decent normal being towards reunion like you could care less and these people are below you and all this that and the third and hell even you do that nene to your fans you act like they beneath you so i i mean i don't know it's give and take it's just give and take baby but anyway that's all i have for this video y'all get down in them comments tell me what y'all I think not about me now about subject matter okay and i'll see y'all next video but don't forget to subscribe share and like my videos or i should say our videos because y'all are with me on this train ride okay all right see you later